Welcome to a Code Report Solution video. My name is Connor. I hope you're having a great day. And today we're going to solve a leak code problem that is going to be very, very fast. And we're going to solve it in both APL and Python, similar to the last video that I made. I was not planning on making a YouTube video today, but it's Sunday. And typically on Sundays, I check out the leak code problems that happened on this previous Saturday evening. And I just couldn't believe how beautifully this was solved in APL. So I decided to make a quick video. So this problem is pretty straightforward. It's called build array from permutation. And basically it's gonna give you a list of values, um, or technically these are indices permuted, and you need to construct a new array um, by basically at each place that they have an index, it's saying, I want you to go get the value that sits at index zero and place it here. And because this is index zero, nothing's gonna change for this one. But for the second element here, it's saying go get the value that's at index two, which is the one right next to it, one. So in the result, we're gonna get one here. And then for the third element, it's asking to go get index one. That's the one to the left of it. So you're gonna get two here. Uh, for the fourth element or third element, sorry, um, it's asking for index five, which is gonna be the one at the end of the list. So uh, four is gonna go here, etc. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's hop over to IPython and see how you can solve this in a one-liner in Python. So here we are in IPython. We've got both of our examples from the test cases that are provided by Leak Code, and you can solve this in a single line in Python with a list comprehension very easily. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna index into our uh, list nums with x, which is gonna be our index. Uh, so actually maybe we should call it i, seeing as it's uh, uh, representing an index for i in our list of values and nums. And that's it, you're done. Um, so Pretty elegant in Python, very readable in my opinion. List comprehensions are awesome. And we can put this uh, into a function. The problem, I believe, calls the function name build array. And so we're gonna have a single argument here, and then we're just basically going to return what we uh, typed out previously. So uh, nums i for i in nums. And then if we hit this and I did it correctly, we should be able to go build array on nums, get our answer, and then build array on nums too. And we're done, fantastic. So let's hop over now to APL to see how to solve this in a completely different way. So here we are, we have our nums array, and we also have uh, tests which stores both arrays, which we'll solve at the end. But we're gonna start just with, with nums here. And the way we're gonna solve this is using a primitive called index. And the way index works is it's, it's a very powerful uh, primitive and function. And you can provide it with a bunch of types of sort of arrays on the left. When it's just a single scalar, it's gonna get you the index uh, from that array. And note, you have to make sure that quad IO is set to zero for this uh, to work. So here it's gonna get us the first element and sure enough, the first element in nums is zero. If we change uh, this, to a one, it should return us two because it, because that's the second element in nums. And note that I mentioned earlier, you gotta make sure that uh, quad IO is set to zero. So it's by default set to one. Um, the way you can set it to zero is just by going quad IO equal to zero in order to get this problem to work. So uh, if we go back to our example here, say we want to get more than a single index. What you have to do is basically create an array um, but you can't just give it the uh, indices side by side. You have to enclose them uh, with this little horseshoe primitive here. So once you do that, it's gonna get you all of the indices in the uh, order that you specify them. So if we were to switch this, instead of getting us the first two elements in order, it would get us the first two elements in reverse order. And once you basically know how to use this index operator, you might realize that all you need to do is enclose nums, and that's the exact order that we wanna get our values in. So uh, this is the solution. But note that we can drastically simplify this, and as I've said many times before in my APL videos, whenever you notice the pattern, uh, binary or dyadic function, so a function that takes two arguments, uh, and if that's sandwiched between two uh, unary or monadic functions, here the unary function is uh, enclosed, and over here, there's no function, and when there's no function, you can insert an identity, which is basically a no-op. And once we have this, this is gonna give us the same result, and we can refactor this, so get rid of the nums paren, uh, this paren, and then take this nums and factor it outside, and this is now our solution. So we can take this, call it build array, and then delete the parens, 
And this is now a point-free solution using what's called a fork or from combinatory logic, an S-prime combinator. But what it's called doesn't really matter. It's just the power of um, you know juxtaposing a uh, binary operation in between two unary operations that get applied first to our argument and then the results of those get fed to the binary operation. So once we have this, we can then just map uh, our build array over our tests and we're gonna get our results. So uh, pretty remarkable in my opinion that this is the solution. Um, three characters, absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, I hope you're <laughs> intrigued. I'm gonna leave links in the description if you wanna go check out APL. It's just such a beautiful language in my opinion. And sure, that looks like hieroglyphics, but if you're able to read APL, it's just become such an expressive language. And last thing I wanna say is there are two great YouTube channels that deserve more subscribers if you're interested in the array languages. The first one is from Rodrigo. He has started a YouTube channel where he is now solving leak code problems very regularly uh, in APL. So I highly recommend to go check that out. Link will be in the description. And also uh, Bob Terrio has a channel that focuses on the J language, which is basically like APL 2.0 or some people refer to it as APL on steroids. Uh, if you're interested in learning J, it's a great channel to check out. And potentially, uh, Bob will make a solution to this in J. I actually was planning on including it, but I couldn't figure out what the equivalent of index was in J, so I gave up after 10 minutes of searching on J Nuvok. Um, but uh, you might see the solution in the description down below, and then in the future, you might see a solution on uh, Bob's YouTube channel. So definitely check those out if you're interested in array languages. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.